The experience for us is very different. We wake up bright and early to bring you the best television can offer. Now, I figure it must be awesome for you to sit back always and enjoy the efforts we put in every morning. Now, that was a very long intro. But yes, <laughs> indeed, good morning and welcome to the Friday edition of Wake Up Nigeria. We begin another dose of your favorite breakfast show. We have exciting content all just for you this morning, along with our fabulous other hosts who will be joining us, Mike and MM. So you guys just sit right there and enjoy this. You look rather hairy today. <laughs> Maybe Harry in the best coming, places. Coming from you. Best place, sorry. <laughs> what? Her what? hair. <laughs> wow, best places. Okay. I'm just going to ignore that conversation. Now, we are that essential weekend starter. You need each day, each end of the week. Yes, and indeed. with our package, with a package like ours, <laughs> you are sure that you can't go wrong with the kind of energy that will bring your way. Yes, indeed. <laughs> energy is nothing when it's not in use. So we employ you, uh, well, to spread that energy, bring it along with you, especially to work. Infect other people by telling everybody around you that it is time for Wake Up Nigeria. Get that spirit up. Yes, now with our little nugget of positive thinking is to remind you to note that taking risks and making choices is what makes life so exciting. Yes. So live life at its fullest and crush everything. Now that sounds like a little uh, 1980s commercial. I don't know if you remember. I was born in 1980. Oh, okay. I feel old. Yes, you are. But it was old. one that went Joy Girl. Na 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 na. Reminds me of you. I don't know. It's I, all good. I, I can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> in any case, my name is Mazino Appeal. You and can stream I am. The... Okay, go on. No, go. You no. can stream the show live, guys. <laughs> Stream the show live on Facebook and also you can carry us with you anywhere you're going on Apple, iOS and of course on our Google Play Store. Yes, now we implore that you follow us on social media at TVC Connect on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. That way you can be a part of the conversation because you, from there you use the hashtag mm -hmm. Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. We have such an interesting topic on what's up and about today. Mm -hmm. I really want to hear your thoughts. My name is Tokwai Olewonio. Of course, we have one more person here and of course she's looking absolutely fantastic for a Friday. All yes. dark and you know like and black widow and everything. Oh, oh, hey man, oh. How you doing girl? Good guy <laughs> and lady. <laughs> no, no, no. Right. See, with that look, you have to come with the energy. Like, he, you, you got to give up. Oh. Okay, see, so it's raining outside. Yeah. So, um, you know, you just got to go with the flow. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, indeed. The rains are back and we are loving it. The termites are out, by the way, just in case you have lights outside. You can pick them and eat them. Oh, you know, I was going to call say shinge. Is that what it's called? That's what we call it. Yeah. Least, it's always small. Yeah. Shinge is out. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it was the that put up that status. You should have some friends where you can just sit down and be silent. You yeah. don't have to talk. Yes. You know, <laughs> when you're with them, you know, you, there's that pressure. Like, you meet someone new or there's a friend and you, you meet together. You're yeah, looking for what to say. So, but yeah. you know, it's very interesting. The best parts are those you're comfortable with yeah. being silent. Yes. Now, I have two, two drinking pals. Uh, okay. One of them, Oi, I call him just to be quiet. And then the other one, Bruno, yeah. I call him and then we can talk all night. But Oi, we're just, we're just all right, just sitting just down chill. there. Just if you're, if you're hanging out with me and Mike, you're Don't definitely you? going to be talking. Because nah, first off, Mike is not silent. I'm very like silent. my landlady <laughs> could literally chase me out of my house. Because of Mike. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. This thing, you guys, is not true. Meanwhile, okay, still on the. Okay, uh, yeah, so I was thinking mm -hmm. when I heard the song, like if you were driving in Maserati uh -huh. in, in the road this morning, coming here, mm -hmm. there was so much flood. And I don't know if it rained like maybe in the night. Yes, it did. It did? It did, but mm -hmm. it, 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 it didn't rain. So when I came out, I was like, and then it started drizzling. So, the amount of flood I met, mm -hmm. it's like our drainages are really. Yeah. And it's, I know that thing people do, they drive over flood thinking that they want to, in quotes, wash oh, their, the their engine. You're messing your car up. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that, man. Mm -hmm. You're messing your car up. So it was even right into the compound, the, the level, the flood is it was just so something stressful else. for me driving this morning because I'm just like, I don't want to enter any manholes, mm. potholes that are deeper than normal. Just, just be careful uh, out there if you're driving. The waters cover everything. You want to be careful. Okay, so let's do the weather now, like you don't already know. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll be back with some news. And you're welcome. It is a Friday morning, a very wet one here in Lagos, but we're loving it. Let's do the news. Now we begin uh, with the governing board of the National Examinations Council as they approve the appointment of Ibiki Biana. Uh, John Ogburudi as the acting 
registered chief executive uh, of the council. Now, the appointment followed the death of the registrar, Professor Godswell Obioma, on the 1st of June 2021 after a brief illness. A circular issued by the director of human resource management, Mustafa Abdul, explained that the acting registrar's appointment was endorsed by the governing board at its emergency meeting held on the 2nd of June. Now, until his appointment, Mr. Oguridi was the director of special duties in the council. And President Muhammad Buhari has called for global support for the development of resources in the Niger Basin. Uh, now, as the uh, moment at the moment, uh, the area is housing over 160 million people who depend on the river as a means of sustenance. The president made the call earlier yesterday when he declared open the virtual 12th summit of heads of state and governments of the Niger Basin Authority (NBA). The president believes the Niger River, uh, commonly called uh, Joliba in Guinea and Mali offers enormous development opportunities in the fields of agriculture, animal husbandry, fishing, fish farming, hydropower, hydraulics and navigation. The technical committee of experts have reviewed all the documents submitted by the NBA Executive Secretariat from 24th to 26th May 2021 and made recommendations to the extraordinary session of the Council of Ministers for their resolutions. Your Excellencies, it is with a view to consolidate the achievements made by our organization and above all to accelerate the progress that the 12th Summit has items of strategic significance on its agenda. These are A. Review and adoption of the report of the extraordinary session of the Council of Ministers. And the Joint Border Patrol team in the North Central Zone said it made a total number of 35 seizures of various prohibited items with duty paid value of 28.2 million naira within two months. Speaking with journalists and activities of the team between April and June 2021 in Ilori, the team coordinator, Kamchola Oluboyega uh, Peters, disclosed that the seized items include 637 bags of foreign per boiled rice and 794 kegs of 25 litres of pe uh, premium moto spirit. Comptroll Peters, uh, who said that officers and men of the team were usually attacked by smugglers on border route routes, warned that offenders would be made to face the wrath of the law. The sector has made appreciable progress in its anti-smuggling activities by recording a total of 35 seizures of failures prohibited items within the period under review, with a total duty paid value of 28,203,700 naira. Despite the series of attack by the daredevil smugglers hoodlums during our course of duty, the sector will not be distracted from executing its mandate. Welcome back. Now it is time for us to take a look at the covers of the papers this rainy morning. And we are starting off with The Nation. Why insecurity is rising by Lawan, Ayade and Ganduje. A photo story here showing us the um, secretary to the state government, Professor Maman Sahu, the doctor, um, Dr. Sonia Darak, also the head of Corporation and Cultural Affairs France Embassy at the groundbreaking ceremony that took place for the Contemporary Film and Arts Institute of West Africa in Ilori on Wednesday. Also, we have a photo story here showing the frontage of the bank after Wednesday attack in Ikure Oshun State yesterday. APC to police rise up to challenge how kidnappers evade tracking by NNC. At the bottom of the paper, we have 160,617 candidates Write 2021 mock UTME in 777 CBT centers. Now moving to the top of the paper, we have Malami. I didn't tell Buhari to suspend constitution. New constitution not feasible, says Senate. Finally, 9.9 .9 billion naira. Monia Ishei Road inaugurated. I am not. I am in government to make life better for citizens, says Oyetola. Moving on from the nation. To the punch, we have hunger diseases dominate Northwest. Zamfara in crisis. MSF raises the alarm. 
team treats 10,300 children in three Zamfara towns for severe acute malnutrition and others. Women abducted, raped, returned to communities. Federal government not assisting, says Zamfara. A photo story here showing National Youth Corpus Corp Batch A stream two core members doing an inter-platoon drills at the temporary orientation camp um, in Gombe State yesterday. Police ambush invading bandits in Katsina kill five people. Laws shouldn't be made to hinder technology, I, I, technology and election, says INEC. Police repel gunmen's attack on Zamfara Fulani settlement. Now moving to the bottom of the paper, we have Ganduje raises the alarm over gatherings of bandits in Kano Forest. Police arrest three-man gang for stealing victims 572,000 naira through ATM. Getting new constitution almost impossible, says National Assembly. And to the top of the paper, we have foreign stock investors withdraw 99.94 billion naira in four months. Core members part of defense can be mobilized for war, NYSC. To stop abduction, sponsor factional bandits, Gumi tells federal government. Presidency berates ex-U.S. envoy. Magazine over Nigeria is failing. Report. Moving on from the punch, we're going to Daily Trust this morning. Residents relocate as bandits terrorize Abuja and suburbs. Over 80 kidnapped in five months. I was abducted twice, my brother once, near Abaji. Property developers have vacated, says agent. Veritas Varsity in FCT suspends resumption indefinitely. Uh, we have a graph here showing an outline of the kidnappings in suburbs in Abuja as of now, 2021. Uh, bandits gathering in Kano Forest, Ganduje cries to military. Uni Lawrence students raped to death. Census, federal government starts pre-test data collection June 6. And finally, before we go, we have police arrest 10, bust EPUB meeting in Bayelsa. Um, that's all we can take in the covers of the papers. You want to grab your favorite copy of a newspaper to stay informed on all that is happening in the country. Now let's check out some facts. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Now you welcome. take the hair octave. Which which the voice? Hair. No. <laughs> Hello surprise guys. Surprise us. No. <laughs> I don't want to surprise myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so I did share something on the group yesterday that I thought was very important that we talked about. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly run through it. There's a, um, a picture I saw on Instagram and it says, if we are not married, why would I give a child I carried for nine months your last name? Why? How? And somebody responds, the person says, if we're not married, it's my child and I don't have to give my child that I carried for nine months the last name of a man who ain't my husband. He's just the father and there's no long ties to him. Even if we're married, I don't need to give my kids my husband's last name. It's 2021. So what I want us to talk about today is first off, surnames. Mm -hmm. What's um, in a surname? Mm -hmm. Okay, Emma was talking about what's a surname. Okay. No, I what to, is it's, it's, in a yeah. surname? Identity. Yes. Uh, lineage. Uh, around history. History. That's yeah. Basically what it is. It's just a and then who, um, whose, whose surname should a child bear when the child was born out of wedlock? And mm. if the child, if the parents don't get married, mm. whose name should the child bear? I, I don't know. I can't, I can't answer that. Like, <laughs> I don't know exactly. I don't so know funny, guess. yeah. This, this, I resonate with this because I don't bear my father's surname. Oh. Yes, I bear my mother's parents' surname. Oh. Yes, because mm. it was my mother's parents that brought me up. And even at the point where they said, you know what, you can choose. Do you want your father's mm. name or do you want your, um, our name? I actually chose my... My your grandparents, yes, my maternal, maternal parents, parents name, because I de then I realized that there's honestly a difference between a father and a dad, because your father is the person that yeah, contributes to your existence, but your dad is the person who actually is actively involved in parenting in your life. In your life. So your father just put in the seven seconds work and then yeah. your dad actually... My dad did the entire work. Yeah, so I would say that I would be, I would say that a child who was born out of wedlock should bear the mother's, should bear whoever's name is taking care of them. And then at some point, choose whose name they want to bear. I think a similar conversation um, happened yesterday on Your View, where they talked about um, single motherhood and um, how 
children from single motherhoods are being relegated yeah. or are being, you know, they, they're Put considered aside. as cast. Yeah. Yes. You know, because, you know, they, I, they're just considered as not being, nothing good can come out of them. Yes. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So it's it's somewhat um, connected mm -hmm. here. But, uh, I, I, I would <laughs> Mike, say something. Um, Awfully quiet. Go, go ahead. So you, you see, uh, um, I don't know, I don't know who, I don't know where it happens. Shall me? I've not been around anybody that considers a child born out of wedlock a cast. You mm, can't do that around me. Maybe, maybe because of the kind of person I am, I kind of person <coughs> like you. You cannot be um, insanely. Insane. Okay, let me not use the word I want to. You cannot be stupid about that, you know. But you see something, this started from um, uh, Davido's uh, baby mama. Mm. And she was like, look, why is my daughter baby mama? Like you said, identity. What, can that name open doors for you? Yes, Why would can. you want to use the, the name? So think mm. about it now. The baby, you know, so, so, so she, she made mention on social media. and like, okay, would a momodu or an adeliki, which would open doors, doors for you. more for my kid? Mm. Well, that's what she said. You know, you know, she was, you know, she was the one that brought up the discussion. It started from yeah. a statement she made about her daughter bearing the dad's name, even if they were not married. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you see, and as at that point in time, around, you're yeah, thinking about it. I'd be like, say, uh, there's no dispute about this one, man. Mm. You understand? It's really so it's about, so it's about an identity, and I feel like everybody should get to the age whereby you can choose what name you want. Yeah. Exactly. And, uh, I, I was going to say that. I, um, I think it's left to the individual when they come of age, actually. There's no two ways. Eventually, no matter what you call your kid, if he grows older and he decides that he's going to do this or do that, he's going to do it. Mm -hmm. and it depends on how, how many doors it opens. And if and I was in that position, yes, that would, that would be the option. I'd yeah, because if think about it. If you don't, don't, it, the thing with single mothers at times is that maybe because of the hurt and the pain yeah, they felt, the kid exactly. now suffers for it. Yeah. You know, you, you try to draw the kid. You know, most times, there's something about a parent that is missing from another from a, a child's life, yeah. even if it's the mother. Mm -hmm. There comes a time when you would long, you long to, for you that, you want that to see person. the person. Yes. Like, okay, why did you? Why was I not in your you life? You need closure. Yes. Do you understand? Now that's so, a lesson that people actually have to learn, and I mean people who are in these situationships that yeah. produce kids. Kids, yes. You have to learn to remove the the, the individual, the child, from all of that it's drama. Hard, man. Drama. It's I know hard. it's very hard, but you have to think straight. And I'm thinking and about then, a, a mom that has a child. That looks like the dad <laughs> or the father. Yeah, a constant that she has reminder. Yeah. A case in point, to the case. Ooh, <laughs> he went there with the name. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, no, and then case in point, to, like... to, to wrap this up quickly, I also feel that women who still want to keep their surnames, like their surnames or their mother's names, mm. should have these conversations with their intending spouses mm. yeah. before they get into that relationship, so that you all have an understanding. Yeah, not, yeah. yeah if you want to join it. Yes. Yes. That yeah. is another option. That's it. Yeah. That's true. Hey, tell us what you think. Use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. Would like to read from you guys. Welcome back, people. You're still on to Wake Up Nigeria. And of course, with me in the kitchen this morning is Anu. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Great. Thank you. You always have the smell that you bring <laughs> every time on the show. Thank you. I love it. Today, she'll be making tiger nut drink. Yes. Interesting tiger nut recipe. Milk. Mm. Tiger nut milk yes. drink. Well, it's a drink <laughs> altogether. Let's talk about the ingredients. Okay, so I'm going to be using tiger nuts, mm -hmm. then coconut, dates, and a little bit of turmeric. Ha! This is an exotic kind of tiger nut drink. <laughs> because, I've okay, so I know of dates, but coconut and the turmeric, hmm, this is a burst of nutritional benefits <laughs> in quantum. <laughs> too many things. I'm saying too much. Anyways, how do we make this? Yes, milk? I'm just going to blend it. Okay. Yes. So. so, what are we doing with the coconuts and the dates? Okay, I would I would chop them. Okay. And the, so I noticed that there are two kinds of tiger nuts. Yes. There is this kind, and, and then the there is the dry one. one. Yes. Okay. So this is the dried one. I just soaked it. I soaked them. I soaked it in water for two days. Ah. Yes. So it became this. Oh, yes. so when you soak it water, it swells? Yes, it swells. You're joking. Osmosis. <laughs> Osmosis takes place. It swells. Wow. Oh, so that's actually the difference. Yes, Basically. that's just Ooh. the difference. Never thought. Did not know that. Okay. And um, so we're just going to mix all of them in? 
Yes, yes. And then we blend it. Yes. And then what happens next? And sieve it. Okay. And I sieve it. Okay. So once I sieve it, then I, I extract the juice out of it. Mm. The juice. I separate the juice from the shaft. From the shaft. Yes. What do you do with the shaft? Is there any other any other thing you can do yes, with it? Yes. Yes. It could be. You could dry it. You could toast it. You could eat it as snack. Yeah. Wow. You could be eating as snack. Then you could make it as swallow. After drying. Swallow. Yes. Very very. Like rich. this sweet soup. Yes. Yes. Mm. Very rich and nutritious. You dry it, you could toast it, you could, you know, use a dehydrator, then you grind it again. Probably use the same, the blender that dry, that blends dry, dry um, product. Okay. Yes, then you just make it like your normal semo, and you're good to go eat it with your soup. Okay, so I'm not even joking, guys. The chef, from what we are making today, I'm definitely going to use it to make swallow this weekend. Very healthy. I, I'm looking forward to what it looked like. Anyway, talking about healthy, all of these ingredients today have amazing health benefits, guys. You don't even want to know. If you're on the weight loss journey, this is for you. If you're having, um, you're looking for ways to regulate your blood sugar level, yes. Tiger Nut is the fruit for you. Uh, should I call it fiber, actually? Yes, it's very a rich fiber, in fiber, actually. It's very rich in fiber. It's got lots of amazing nutrients from iron, vitamins, and very low in calories as well. Yes. And then let's not talk about dates. Ha! These dates. Hey! <laughs> the things, the, the magic these dates can work in one person's life. You have no idea. Trust me. Anyways, I'm going to leave all of those ones for later on. So you have to stay tuned to know what dates can do in your life. This is called an enricher. It's an aphrodisiac. Oh, trust me, it's an aphrodisiac. Do you know what an aphrodisiac is? <laughs> I'm not going to be the one to tell you. You go and find out for yourself. Anyways. Check Google. Okay, yeah. Google is your friend. <laughs> okay, so I see what you're doing with the dates. What are yes, you doing so with I'm the dates? Yes, I'm deseeding it. I'm removing the seeds. You know, I didn't even know that dates had seeds. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay, so to be honest, I went away from using dates. Oh, the sweetening. No, it's not that real. I don't know why. I guess it does that thing it does when I chew it oh. in my mouth. So I try to run away from it. Okay. So I never knew that it actually had seeds. Yes, it does. So there was something you did to it. Did you freeze it? I soaked it in water also. Oh, overnight. is there any special thing it does? So it, it makes it um, softer. Okay. For blending. Okay. For grinding. Oh, yeah, okay. Because date on its own is quite hard. Hard, yes. True. Yes, it is. So if you don't soak it, it, it will spoil your blender blades. Mm, I agree. So how long do you soak it for? for the dates, I soaked it overnight, just overnight. But the tiger nuts for like two days. Mm, okay. If you're just joining us this morning, guys, with me is Anu. And we are making tiger nut milk. It's also a drink. So you can have it with anything. This is a perfect drink to replace those carbonated drinks that you have been gushing down your system. It's healthy. It's nutritious. It's got all the amazing health benefits that you could ever ask for. And for now, we'll go. We'll just take some time out. But hey, guys, we are not doing this without you. We're still going to take you along with us on this process. But for now, let's hear what um, talk about Mike High for us with. Well, guys, you are welcome. It is a Friday, and what is a Friday without some movie news? And we've got just that for you. If you're as excited as I am, well, hey, then you'd love to hear this. First of all, everybody saw Friends from last week, which was released on HBO, and we were very excited about it. Now, the Friends reunion special, a.k.a. the one where they all get back together, was released last week on HBO Max, giving the sitcoms fans uh, everywhere around the world that nostalgic feeling, a uh, wholesome treat. Now, the reunion marks the first time since the Friends series finale in 2004 that all six main cast members were together. That's Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, uh, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, whom I think is the most popular and most uh, and richest, uh, Matthew Perry, and also David Schrimmer. They were united together on the Friends set. However, three major cameos were cut out of versions released in China uh, streaming services. Now, that's the part with Lady Gaga singing Smelly Cat, which we all loved with Phoebe. Justin Bieber's modeling Ross's uh, Sputnik costume. 
costume and the BTS uh, discussing what friends meant to them. Now, the reason for these cuts um, comes down to China's history. Now, China considers Lady Gaga very dangerous <laughs> due to her 2016 meeting with the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama is a major advocate for a free Tibet, which China claims sovereignty over. And as a result of Lady Gaga's meeting with the Dalai Lama, she is not allowed to tour in China. And as for the BTS, in 2020, the popular group honored South Korean war veterans, which caused the rifts between China because China sided with North Korea in the Korean War. And finally, China banned Bieber from touring in their country in 2017, citing him as a badly behaved entertainer without providing specific details. But, hey, we're glad that we got to see the scenes here on streaming services in Nigeria. I don't know, MM, which of the Friends members is your best one? <laughs> Phoebe. Phoebe, why? Yes. I love Phoebe. Um, she, I, I relate more with her character uh -huh. because she's very witty yeah. and sarcastic. So or those those you know little sarcasm that she throws in here and there. Yeah. With some, uh, I love it. So I love if you if you if you partner one of us here with Phoebe, who would it be? Uh, <laughs> Lima. Hmm. Halima. They do look alike a bit. Halima is a senior yes, producer here. Yeah, they do look alike Halima actually. Is not tall, but <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I would say Titi and also Tokbay. I see a little bit of Phoebe in them. Oh, really? A little bit, yeah. Mm, <laughs> never would have thought. <laughs> but yes, um, and I love Phoebe. I love Phoebe. I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing them back on the big screen. It won't happen. Forward, no, right? it won't happen. This is the last time and they all they all accepted the fact that, hey, it's never going to happen. This is the last time they'll be together. But in any case, we did love the re uh, reunion. Let's do another one. Cruella de Vil. Disney's Cruella um, premiered nationwide in America on May 28, 2021. And if you haven't seen it, you better see because it's fun. It tells the origin story of Disney's most iconic villain, Cruella de Vil, of a, a thousand and one Dalmatians fame. Now, it was already surprising that Disney uh, <coughs> director Craig Gillespie um, managed to spin an entire movie out of Cruella de Vil's backstory. But in an interview, um, she said that, uh, or rather, he said that he thinks Cruella's pre-Dalmatian life is rich enough to warrant another movie. So he might be telling or he might be actually producing another one. So we're looking forward to that one. M.M., mm, if you haven't seen Cruella de Vil, you're going to love it. It's not like what we all thought it was going to be. This time, it is actually a very interesting and full, full story. Let's put it that way, without involving too much of the dogs or the Dalmatians. So I think, hey, maybe this weekend, if you're out there, if you can, you want to try and see it, you're going to love it. The kids will also like it as well. Tell you what now, let's give some room for a very interesting uh, bit of breakfast this morning you guys are going to love. And I think it's going to be a very, very hairy edition here. And this explains why Tokwe came in with all that big hair. Hey, Tokwe, what are we looking forward to right now? Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Right, so I just had to be in character for this. So, guys, <laughs> I just got a call this morning that I have to be on set for a particular performance. And in order to do this right, I have to look right. Now, my hair is messed up. I have a bad hair day. As you can see, the hair I had earlier was super tacky. But Mr. Bola is here to the rescue. And guess what? I'm doing this with lush hair. So we're going to do a crochet, and Mr. Fala can get this ready for me in less than 30 minutes, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm not going to have a bad hair day for my parents. We always have to be on point. Thank you, Lush Hair, because today I'm going to come correct. Okay, Mr. Fala, we have to like, hurry. So we're going to use a pop of color, right? Yes, we're going to use a color 33 with color 1 okay. together. But why do you have to do this? Why can't we just use 1? Ah, uh, well, color is life. Okay. You know, like, no one is too rainbow. It's, it's, it's life. Yeah. So, so color is actually nice. Okay. So this is crochet. Yes. So it's your, it's your, your crochet braid. Yeah. You, you know, this is quick DIY fix you can do yourself. Oh, can I do it myself? Yes, you oh, can. Just okay. get, get your crochet pin. Okay. Get your lush um, Vegas braids. And, yeah. Um, no, and start, start before you mirror and start doing it yourself. It's as simple as. So let's have you yes, start then. Let's just take this off and we'll start. Okay. So I, I... Do you need the okay. scissors for that? Yeah, I think it's okay. Okay. So we just take it strand by strand, yes, right? Yes, strand by strand. Um, you can start from anywhere you like. Okay. Where it's convenient for you if you're doing your DIY. Okay. So what you do is you take your crochet pin, mm -hmm. you go into your hair. All right. As you start from here. Well, I mean, put this in. Yeah. You put back the button, uh, the clip back. Yes, I can see out. what you're doing. You pull right. it. Yes. Oh, fabulous. 
So you just like make it like a knot? Yes, a knot in. So yes. it, that's like what ties it? Yes, definitely, yes. I mean, you can see my hair is quite rough, but then now with the Lush Hair Crochet Vegas Braid, it's just going to give me a pop and a jump start, really. <laughs> it's looking better. I mean, but then you must commend Lush Hair because over the years now, you have to sit down for like five to seven hours to get your braids done. But now when you have your corn rolls, you could just get your braids put via crochet. This is really like an evolution it's in really hair nice. making, it's right? It's really nice. I mean, beyond using um, the wigs, you know how braid wigs have come into play. But now, having this directly, you know, some people don't like wigs. No, no, so, no. Yeah, because sometimes you're afraid that it would fall off your hair when breeze blows. But this is definitely a solution provider. Definitely, yes. That was fast. Pretty really fast. So now if I'm doing this by myself, yeah. I need approximately, like, um, how many packs? It uh, depends on your head size. Oh, okay. Because some will do for four, some will do for five. Okay. Some will do less. Less. So and it has to do with your head size. Right, okay. And then maybe depend on how full I want it to be? Yes, yes. Okay. So some don't like it really very full. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, I think I remember MM doing something like this last week, but it wasn't this exact braid. Okay. It was a different type. So that means if you are not one who likes braids, if you want to have something full, like the natural Afro kinky vibe, yeah. there's, also, there's also that variety. So you can have the variety of the um, kinky vibe. You can have, there's also this one here. That's the Nora Curls. Yeah, that's the Nora Curls. But I'm personally intrigued by the... The braid, yeah, I'm personally intrigued by the braid. So you can have the braid crochet, you can have the Nora curls. That's like, uh, MM called it a name, I can't remember. Uh, it's that's the, Nora the curls. Afro, the Nora curls, that's a okay. Nigerian name. Dreadlocks, okay. yes. Dreadlocks, okay. So it gives you like that dreadlocks vibe. And then if you're a naturalista, you know how MM had this very full hair. So if you want to maintain that kind of look, you go for the Afro kinky. But if you want to be like me, keep it simple, we keep it with the braid. Okay then, so I'm sure you know that I can't bore you out. We're just going to go on a break while Mr. Fala keeps um, getting my hair ready. By the time we come back, we're definitely like halfway gone and then you see how we can achieve a crochet look that just gets you ready for a quick fix, gives you a quick fix when you have an impromptu meeting and you have to come correct. Thanks to Lush Hair. So you feel good breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, and we are back again. Welcome to the final hour here for the week. My name is Masino Appeal, and it's often said that uh, the final hour is the most anticipated hour here for Wake Up Nigeria, and that is if you have been waiting for it all week. But then again, yes, it is. It would be the kanayo o kanayo in a thong if it was a lady. <laughs> Let me just say. But by the way, talking about ladies, we have the special women in here. And it's crazy hair day today because Tokwe is getting her hair did. I don't know if you guys caught the first hour, but hey, we ended that with Tokwe having some, you know. Tokwe, yeah, how's so that going? I have an urgent meeting, oh, <laughs> Lush Hair to the rescue, guys. Yes, oh. I have a bad hair day, but yo, Lush Hair is getting me hooked. I have Zainab here, one of our producers, and I have Mr. Fola, of course, um, in charge of our hair here at TVC, getting me sorted in less than 30 minutes. I'm going to be ready with my crochet from Lush Hair, ready to jumpstart my day. Yeah, which is very, very funny. Uh, Mr. Fola doesn't have any hair, and he's the one in charge of hair. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I like to be bold. Are you an expert? Are I we like sure you're an expert? I like to be bold. <laughs> Is it the expression that Harry Mazino should be able to sort out your You hair? know what I mean, yeah? <laughs> if anybody should be there, it should be MM, but no, she's in the kitchen. But then again, hey, MM, what are we looking forward to coming from that end? Wow, interesting stuff happening here in the kitchen, <laughs> Mazino. Uh, we are making tiger nut milk. And of course, Anu is going to be fixing that up for us later on. Well, we've started the process, so of course, later on in the show, we'll take you through the final process. Ah, well, it's all good. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. Let's put that pep in your step. Let's put a song in your tongue. And hey, let's give you that wicked energy for a weekend jamboree. Starts right here. Okay, so let's begin to tell you what's going to come up for the final hour of the show here today. Now, we are going to have, but of course, you know already next to our amazing chef, Chef Anu, uh, Anu, Anu, Anu Oluwapo. Did I get that right, M.M.? Yeah. 
Well, thank goodness. Yes, indeed. Now, uh, coming up, we're going to get some fantastic music coming your way if you guys stick around. What is a Friday without some entertainment? But of course, so you guys just hang in there. Let's bring that to you. Also, need to remind you guys that you have to follow us across all social media platforms. We are at TVC. And if you want to use rather TVC Connect, and if you want to send us a message, you want to use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. TVC. Welcome, let's do the news. My name is Mazino Appeal. Now we begin with the governing board of the National Examination Council as they have approved the appointment of Ebikibina John Aburudi as the acting registrar chief executive of the council. Now the appointment follows the death of the registrar professor Godswill Obioma on the 1st of June 2021 after a brief illness. A circular issued by the Director of uh, Human Resource Management, Mustafa Abdul, explained that the acting registrar's appointment was endorsed by the governing board at an emergency meeting held on the 2nd of June. Now, until his appointment, Mr. Agburudi was the Director of Special Duties in the Council. And President Muhammadu Buhari has called for global support for the development of resources in the Niger Basin area. At the moment, uh, the area is housing over 160 million people who depend on the river as a means of sustenance. The president made the call earlier yesterday when he declared open the virtual 12th summit of head of state and government of the Niger Basin Authority, NBA. The president believes the Niger River, commonly called Joliba in Guinea and Mali, offers enormous development opportunities in the fields of agriculture, animal husbandry, fishing and fish farming, hydropower, hydraulics and navigation. The technical committee of experts have reviewed all the documents submitted by the NBA Executive Secretariat from 24th to 26th May 2021 and made recommendations to the extraordinary session of the Council of Ministers for their resolutions. Your Excellencies, it is with a view to consolidating the achievements made by our organization and above all to accelerating the progress that the 12th Summit has items of strategic significance on its agenda. These are A. Review and adoption of the report of the extraordinary session of the Council of Ministers. And in Ondo State, a member of staff of a school in Akure North Council area was abducted but later released after their school bus was hijacked by unknown gunmen on Thursday morning. Gunmen had hijacked the school bus in Obaile Estate in Akure North local government area of the state, causing panic in the town, which is a stone throw from the state capital, Akure. The gunman had dragged down the driver of the bus during the attack that occurred around 6.45 a.m. At our back, they are on three on the, on the Okada. And I saw them that they, they, dry, they drove roughly. Then and I told the driver that he should just appeal to them whether they want to harass, harass him that they, he drove roughly. He now said that, okay, as, he, as they come down, two of them came down from the bike. He now said that, I now, told, I now saw a um, gun and the axe in their side. I now told the driver that it's child lock. He now locked the door of the, of the motor. They now, they now removed the gun. They want to shoot us. Then I now said, they now said that, do we even need our life. Okay, what actually happened was that I was at home when I got a call from one of the parents in the person of Ms. Mr. Ruaji. Actually, each morning, that's the first point of picking. So he called me that the driver would like to speak with me. So I, I spoke, the driver, the driver told me that three men, they were on, on Okada, that at gunpoint, the school bus was taken from him. He was asked to lie down and then they abducted the, the bus attendant. And uh, immediately, the owner of that house where something happened, happens to be an ACP. So immediately he came out and called them at the, I don't know, the police station in Obaile. Well done, well done, well done. I know you, I heard you mention Amala there. Unfortunately, that's not what we're making on the show this morning. <laughs> we have Anu here and we are making tiger nut milk. Interesting, I know, right? Yes. Anyways, let's get right into it. So 
let's quickly run through the ingredients and where we are at right now. Let's okay, go. so um, we just blended um, tiger nuts, coconut, dates, and we want to add our turmeric. Turmeric. Yeah, yes. And guess what, people? One major in, um, component or benefit that all of this have is they are all antioxidants. And what do they do? They help to boost your immune system. So if you're also looking to, you know, going on a weight loss journey, this is one. And because it's a combination of fruits, you have the dates, dates which is the mm -hmm. tropical fruits. You have the tiger nuts, which is a fiber, mm -hmm. which also helps to aid digestion. And guess what, people? Yeah, okay. If you're dealing with hangover, dates nuts is the fruits for you. You know, it actually helps to um, douse um, alcohol if you like. If you're if you're high on alcohol, it actually helps. You know, okay. to you know. Uh, it reduces it significantly, which okay. is really, really, really good. And has lots of, loads of amazing benefits. Yes. Anyway, let's get right into it. So now that we've blended all of those ingredients in here, what's next? Let's look at the saving. Okay, so, so you need a clean cloth? Yes, a clean. It's Any color is fine? Any color. Okay, <laughs> because people always go for like the off-white ones. Yes. So just need so to any be sure. Color. So I'm just going to save this. Okay. So in here we have our date fruits. We have... Tiger nut, coconut, and turmeric. Yeah, we don't have turmeric here. We oh, we don't have turmeric in there, but it's definitely going to go in yes, here at some point. Yes. Okay, great. And now we are ready to see. Hmm. So I'm just going to hold this okay. up for you because yes. the sieving process has begun, people. Hmm. So the good thing about this is tiger nuts are very affordable, guys very affordable and so is the date nuts as yes, well coconuts good. all of these fruits are basically affordable turmeric if you go to my top, <laughs> you can't even buy all of it for like 100 naira i'm exaggerating your board in uh, they're all so affordable this will easily replace all of those sugar drinks that you're always taking guys go healthy they say health is wealth don't forget okay so we're still saving that. And it's also very tasty. Yes. Because, very I mean, that's creamy. what the role of the date nut is, basically. It the just, date you nut know, is the sweetener. It's a sweetener, yes. yes. It's what gives it the sweet taste. Mm. That looks good. So once this is done, that's it, right? Yes. That's it? Yes. Okay. Uh, we are making progress here in the kitchen. There's still so much more going on. Next up. We have an interesting guest, guys. Are you waiting? Are you waiting? Head over to the couch and find out who. You perform. Welcome back, people. I, I was distracted because we have the superstar Olakira. Yeah, I have been talking about how we having Olakira in the building, and guess what? We have him here. But before we talk about him, I'm sure you can see that my hair is set. So while the show was going on, I had a quick call that I have a meeting today. And guess what? Lush hair came to the rescue because I was having a bad hair day. And we're able to pull, to pull out this um, crochet look in less than 20 minutes. I must give a review though because I like being honest in all, all, all I do. I must give a review that when you're using the crochet, now if you use the, the colored one, it's very easy to do by yourself. But if you use the black one, you might want to get someone to do that for you because that's a bit tighter in where, while you're trying to get it fixed. But altogether, getting your crochet done in less than 15 minutes, I'm not exaggerating, less than 15 minutes, you can achieve this. Too. But moving on, we do have our Afro pop superstar, singer, producer, and multi instrumentalist. Olakira with us this morning. Good morning. Mm, I like that introduction. You do? <laughs> it's, it's a proper way. I, I, I enjoy that. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> good to have you here. See, Jimmy. tell me they're going to perform for us this morning. Uh, why, why are you doing like this? Tell now? me you're going to perform you're on for live us. Show, so. you're, exactly. So you can't lie on live show. Yeah, I don't know yet. You know, please, let me just tell my producers, please Depends get on his vibe. song on. Get his song on standby because before we play the game, <laughs> he's going to give us like two minutes of performance. But how are you doing this morning? Oh, uh, oh. Uh, I don't want, I'm doing good, but at the same time, the, the rain. The rain. God, my car was stopped. <laughs> on your way like, here? On, your way, on my way here. Oh, sorry. The, the weather sorry. was too much, but yeah. fine. You know, that's the hustle now. That's the hustle. Yeah. Good to have you here. Now, I want to talk about Maserati. Maserati was and is a yeah. hit. Now, can you run us through the production process of how you created that jam? Yeah, um, I started um, during the lockdown. Okay. I think that period, people were... 
that people get to, uh, you know, realize more of their talent and yeah. discover a lot about them. Mm -hmm. So um, I had to start, I, I made a beat myself. I started with the beat. And yeah. um, from the beat, I started uh, with somebody, somebody needs somebody. Yeah. My body needs your body. It's like we need each other to, you know, make this world a better place. Because yeah. we need each other. Like the world is, you know, like everybody's... On lockdown now, yeah, yes. Everybody, everybody's not, you know, so... um. Then I, I came up with, because I love Maserati, like, that's one of my favorite cars. Cars, yeah. So I, I just put it, I just had to put that as, as the hook. Yeah. And, um, and that, that's, 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 that's you how. produce the beat yourself? Yeah, even if you, if you, you can, if you can listen to the, the first intro, the saxophone, I had to play it myself as well. Ooh, yeah, so you play, I'm, how many instruments do you play? Uh, major instrument, guitar, like six. Fabulous, yeah. fabulous. And then I want to talk about collaborations in the music industry because you know there are people that have fabulous songs and then known artists don't jump on them and it doesn't get mileage. But then your song, your remix was jumped on by David Do. Doe. Yeah. Yeah. David Doe. yeah. How was how how did you feel? Was this your, was this your first time communicating with David Doe or have you been in talk with him before? That now? was the first time. Like, like I was a producer. Like I pro I make I, I make beats, beats before. And yeah. I've met him in Couple different locations. Yeah. yeah. But. but Meeting him like one on one, like getting to know each other, mm -hmm. that was the first time. And that was the first time. He just hit my DM like, guy, I like this your song, man. And the next day, send your number. After one minute, he just called me on video call, WhatsApp video call. I'm like, bro, like, man, send the beat. I need to jump on th on this song right now, today like this. Today? And that's how I recorded it. Like, it was natural. It wasn't really like I, I feel like naturally like the vibe. Like, yeah. And now uh, we've been vibing since. Since then, you know what? So you all understand who and what I'm talking about. We're going to vibe to Maserati remix by um, Olakira and Davido. Well, now that's the... Maserati remix, Davido and Olakira. Now, what is it for you now going forward? I mean, Maserati's happened. You know, yeah. there's this one hit one word that people say. What's your comeback? I just dropped an EP titled Four Play. Fabulous. I don't think you guys are aware of this, yeah? Just dropped it like about two weeks ago. Two weeks? Uh, yeah. Now, how has it been? How was the, pr um, the process? Putting the EP together because I'm sure there must have been pressure, considering how Maserati was a fabulous. Actually, piece. yeah, I wasn't pressured, but oh, people were like, "Don't you wait? about drop songs now? Like, all like you're up in the Maserati, it doesn't want to come come down." <laughs> so, um, I, I've been working because okay. you know I was traveling around the world during last year for shows. Yeah. So any country I I, I travel to, I link up with the artists. Put Dude. up work together. Yeah. So it's just like I did four songs. Okay. Titled Four Play. Four that's, play. That's for, yeah, four songs. Four Play. Okay. And um, I featured Shuma, Josie, Moonchild, Zuchu. Hmm. Okay. Female artist. Fabulous. Oh. Uh, respecting the female gender, isn't don't, it? Don't. Okay. I thought you wanted to go the other no, way. No, no, no. You, you see. You see. You see. This, you see. This no. Corrupt mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we're going to have to go on a break, but you know you're not going anywhere because we have to play I'm our games here, with you. Definitely. Yeah. So there you have it. Olakira has dropped his EP, so you might want to jump on all um, streaming platforms to enjoy his beats. But today's Friday, and what does that mean? Game day! <laughs> We're going on the break. When we come back, we will be playing our games, all, all presenters in the show, with our guests. Do not go anywhere. It's Friday, that means... Game day! I, got, I caught you off guard. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I so nice of you to join us, Mike. And Olakira, I love your music, like your hair. It's mm -hmm. hair day today. Everybody's spotting something nice. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I'm spotting the best in town. <laughs> Why did you say that? Lush hair. <laughs> it, looks, it looks quite calm. Who? You look, you. Hey, yeah, Me. You don't yeah, I, like, I like your afro hair. Like Thank you very much. So Thank if you, you were much. a girl, he would have been hitting on you like... <laughs> What? <laughs> telling, you, <laughs> telling you how they are the sun I and think, the moon. I think, can we go straight to the game? <laughs> it's time for the games. I think, I think, I think, I think. I think. All right. <laughs> so today we're playing press conference. It's a very easy game which you can play, and this is how you play. We are going to select a note. We're okay. going to read it, and then we're going to describe to the person we'll be interviewing. The person we're interviewing does not know who we are speaking of. He's going to try and guess. Oh, okay. You get it? So I'll read the note, you read the note, you read the note. And then Mike will be interviewed. He wouldn't know who it is, but he'll have to guess from the questions that we are asking, asking. him. Try okay. with somebody else first. So <laughs> let's try with Topper first. Let's, let's do ladies first. No, let's I beg. Well, let's try with you. No, no, I know the answers. I know the answers. Okay, so know the answers. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, right. let's, 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 Mike, what let's let, oh yeah. Mike, pick okay. one real quick. Let's, let's just one, pick yeah. one. Okay. Yeah, let's find out who it is. Uh -huh. Don't let her see it. Okay, okay, so this is the person. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I know the person. You know the person. Okay. Read it. Don't tell her who it is. Don't show You know, her. like, we're already guys. Don't, Don't show her. Don't show her. I know you got me. All right, so press conference is going to begin. <laughs> this is your microphone. <laughs> All right, 
So uh, my first question for you um, is, uh, how has the movie industry been? Good. Oh, why are you running? You can ask her questions. Why are you okay, running? Okay, to, for, for yeah, the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I had to be twitched, you would get it. Don't ask. Like, yeah, easy is good. good. Easy is good. Um, I need to know. Jen, um, Fuki, I can deliver. Nice. Oh my <laughs> God. Why, 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 why? <laughs> Oh, I get it now. 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 I get it I, I won't consider you new into the movie industry. You've been Why doing it movie, since you've been. Why is movie? Movie can't you do? It's just by luck. Music. Don't worry, we're getting there. So you, you, you you're, just by luck. You're actually very, very Jemai. interesting, and you, um, you won a a viral uh, challenge. challenge, and that actually shone you more into the movie industry recently. We won two challenges back to back. Yeah, back oh, two challenges. Is it yeah. you? <laughs> 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 He's not respected in his own town. He told me to show him. Why are you showing him? Talk about the love of me, y'all. Yes, it is talk about the love of me. Okay, nice Lizzie one. Bebe. We are going to do um, Alaki right, right, right now. Let's okay. find out who this is. Ah, nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one. Ah, nice one, nice okay, one. Nice okay, one. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Let me let me play this head. Okay. You were my African queen. Uh uh. The actual, the actual. No, ask him questions. Ask him. Ask you are my, who is my African queen? No, no, no. Who is the, uh, who is the, uh, my African queen? I need the beer now. Ah! Oh, that was no, so know. fast. No, but I mean, I'm saying two things. You were supposed to ask him a question, but it was okay. No but problem. Yeah. No Everybody. problem. Let's go. Ah. Well, you got it, you got it. 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 Why, why did he say two things? What all of you? Ah, nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one. Who's, we're interviewing, we're interviewing him. No, we're going to interview him. Okay. All right. I think Alakira is going to like this one. Alakira is going to have questions for this one. Hey, Alakira. Alakira, I have to go first. Go first, exactly. Uh, We're asking me a question. Uh -huh. don't, don't tell him who it is. <laughs> Ask him a question like as if he was like he's about to attack you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go soft on you. Okay. Um, ooh, um, do you know this... Um, it's just asking me any question. You know, like... Have you seen someone who, like... Do you, can you tell me someone who invents... Latest dance. Yeah, how did your latest dance come about? Come about, yeah. Yeah, how did that it dance? It depends on the dance now. Yeah, it's, it, it, was one, uh, it was a sensation. It was a sensation. Everybody, no. everybody's it's been. An yes. an no, it's an artist. It's an artist. No, I'm asking the Oh my God. <laughs> how did you how did <laughs> you come Just tell me the dance. No, we can't tell you the dance. You're supposed to. Okay, you can't tell me the dance. Okay, ah, you're a little bit more. It's not a man is later. Okay, <laughs> man. Alright, let's go with me. Let's let's see. Perhaps even if you I not see. try, try, try. Oh, fine, try, try. Oh, the the questions. The questions. Ask me a question. Don't tell me. Don't give me clues. Man. Don't give me clues. Ask me questions. questions. Okay, no clues. No clues. Like if you love me, what would you do? Like no, I wouldn't do that. Don't worry. If you love Tokpa, what would you do? No, no, no. Question, question. Um. If you love uh, Tokpa, what would you do? This movie. Hmm. Um, that you get, you get did it. most recently. You get it. Well, you get it. You question. Question. If you okay, love Tokpa, what would you do? You, yes. Can I ask yeah, you something? Have... What's your favorite old female artist song? Uh, uh, that old would be... Title. Old female artist. Um, uh, um, you, you actually, know it. We're talking about Yeka Owe. He's the one that wrote it. He's the one that wrote it now, so... But you guys tried, but you guys kind of like flopped the, the rules a bit. You guys were supposed to ask questions like as if it was a news conference. That's why it's called press oh, conference. Okay. Okay. But it's okay. Calm down, just so we don't know. We the love it. Mentor. It's interesting. <laughs> I wish MM could have taken place on this one because it would have been fun. But it's all good. Thank you very much, guys, for playing Olakira. Thank you very much for being a part yeah, of this. But before he issue. goes, mm -hmm. you guys know how much we love my show. And it's Friday, perform. yes. It's Friday, yeah, exactly. so Olakira is going to give us a, a performance oh, yeah. as he... Um, oh, yeah, off the lights. Let me go. Yeah, so let's turn off the lights and have his Give me, give me the mic. Oh, yeah, let me go. Yeah. Live show. Anyways, this is Anu, and this morning she's made for you tiger nut milk. Anu Lua. Anu I got it right, huh? Yes. Excellent. Quick one. I know that tiger nut milk is known to be an aphrodisiac. It right? is an aphrodisiac. Are you ready or lack your eyes? And this morning. is even <laughs> twice an aphrodisiac because Ooh, really? it has date nuts in it as oh, well. Oh, my days. Yes, so you have the tiger nut flavor, okay. and then you have the tiger nut with the coconut, turmeric, and, and dates. dates in it. Wow. So you have two different flavors. Twice. 
the sweetness. Ooh. So please, go ahead. You're going to taste each of them and, and tell us which one is the Yes. Okay. What? You need a straw? We straw have or do you want to drink it straight? Uh, straw. I don't mind. I don't mind. All right, great. OK. So let us know what you think. And it's quite healthy as well. I'm sure it is healthy. They're yes, all natural they're fruits. all natural fruits, yeah. Do you like this? Yeah, of course. This okay. is one of my favorite. Oh, ah, really? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> So which this of them do you prefer? Um, I prefer this, actually. You do? Oh, yeah? oh nice. OK. Nice. Yeah, it's it's well done, Anu. It's this way. I don't know. I don't know how to explain. It's richer. <laughs> yeah, it's beyond explanation. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> nice. All right, thank you thank very you so much. much. Uh, so it's been an amazing week. Mike and Mazino, what do you have for us as uh, good back? Any nuggets? Any hey, just Bye -bye. to say have a great weekend. Make sure that you love everybody as you go with a smile. Okay, ah, thank you guys. <laughs> it's been a fabulous time this entire week. Then again, I have to give a quick shout out to Lush Hair. Thanks for giving me a quick hair fix for the weekend. Definitely going to be sharing videos and pictures of my event. You definitely want to see that. Um, you can watch reruns of the show tomorrow, 10 a.m. on same channel. Uh, thank you so much, and, you. and, and thank you for last guests. place for giving me this quick fix. MM, what do you have to say? Um, have a peace.